Former President Donald Trump is making promises to keep the rich richer. Speaking at his $50 million fundraiser at Mar-a-Lago over the weekend, he told a room full of billionaires that he'll keep their taxes low if re-elected. Trump emphasized the importance of extending his 2017 tax cuts beyond next year when many of its provisions are set to expire. Meanwhile, a new report from the Wall Street Journal reveals that Biden's beefed up IRS might be going after people in the wrong tax bracket. Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen pledged that those who take home $400,000 annually or less would not be targeted by the IRS. It seems that the government is going back on its word. Imagine that. As my colleague and Reason Magazine, Matt Welch, pointed out, Treasury Inspector General found that 63% of new audits zeroed in on taxpayers with incomes of less than $200,000. Welch said, we told you so. Now, a 2023 study from Stanford University and the University of Michigan reveals that black Americans about three to five times more likely to be audited than other taxpayers. Now, last September, the IRS vowed to substantially reduce audits on lower income people and now says it is, quote, testing changes in the audit selection algorithm for the earned income tax credit that could remediate the disparate impact that has been occurring. IRS commissioner told uh, the House Ways and Means Committee during a hearing last Thursday, quote, we've announced a significant and dramatic reduction in the number of earned income tax credit audits planned for this coming tax year. So viewers probably remember that the IRS got a bunch of new funding that was a little bit controversial. I think it was 60 billion, something like that, something in that ballpark. Um, I can't quite recall. But the, pr the promise was that this was going to be used, yes, to, to collect more tax revenue from the very wealthy, et cetera. But the concern expressed by, you know, many of us libertarians, but also many people on the left, is that this will, you know, this is more police, who ends up getting policed the most, low-income people. Uh, you know, people making less than $200,000 aren't necessarily low, low income, obviously, although if that's your entire household and you have a lot of people in your family, depending on where you are, that can be that's not... That's just a line in the sand. What right. we know is that the most um, audited uh, place it's in America very... is one small black town in Mississippi that's also one of the poorest districts in the entire country. And so the reason that for that and why this has been a kind of interesting issue to talk about is that... <clears throat> It costs more money. You have to hire different kinds of auditors with more experience and expertise in order to go after wealthy tax cheats for obvious reasons, right? If you're a billionaire and millionaire who can hire the best tax lawyers in the world to hide your money, send it overseas, take advantage of various loopholes, et cetera, then that's much more difficult to untangle than just a poor person who's doing a regular sort of a filing or a working class or low income person who's doing a regular sort of filing. And so when the IRS has fewer resources, they tend to send out these kind of form audits that are very easy to put out and that can kind of satisfy their quotas when they can move on. And the idea was if you can fund the IRS more as it has been funded higher at at earlier stages in American history, you will get, just as in earlier stages in American history, a higher percentage of audits going after rich people. Now in the year and a half since that funding came down the pike. It doesn't seem like that Not has happened. Place. But I do want to raise one caveat. I'd be curious to know what um, Welsh at uh, Reason has to say about this. It seems very clear that there is still a disproportionate focus on lower income people. What is not clear to me is whether or not that problem has gotten better or worse since the new tax funding. And I do think that's the operative question. Are they moving in the right direction? Because it does seem rhetorically from the hearing that they had last week that they recognize that this is a problem and that they're trying to figure out al algorithmic changes or what else they can do to try to remediate yeah. it. 60% is the number. Obviously, I'm not quite sure what the percentage was before that. Of yeah. course, Janet Yellen said it would be zero uh, yeah. in this category. So here we are. I think, you know, what so many Americans could agree on is that the tax code needs to be simplified so that um, the, the very wealthy, you have to pay their fair share and can't creatively use loopholes to get around it, and so that your average American or your, or your working class American or lower income people don't inadvertently mess up. You know, there's so many ways to, to screw up in your tax filings, and, and that whole thing is ridiculous anyway. We're in tax season right now. People, the government knows how much money you owe, yeah. but you have, to, you have to arrive at their magic number that they're just not gonna tell you, or else you get in trouble. And it's, it gets, you know, and in an economy where people work multiple jobs, people have sources of income that are like, you know, 
Uber kind of share economy jobs, um, freelancing, contract employment. Yeah. It gets it can get very very confusing and easy to inadvertently misreport your income and lend yourself in hot water. Yeah, get this: a ProPublica study showed from I think 2019 um, showed that Humphreys County, Mississippi, has more audits than anywhere else in the county. Um, it. Uh, has compared to a wealthy district like La Loudoun County, Virginia, which has the highest media income in the country, the audit rate of Loudoun County is 50, is, sorry, the, the audit rate of Humphreys County, Mississippi is 51% higher than in Loudoun County, which has the highest medium income in the country. So just look at that disparity. About um, 12 out of 1,000 returns are audited in Humphrey County's Mississippi, a place that's known for its catfish farms. Not for its Halliburton yeah. employees in like Loudoun actually, County. Is. Last weekend, I took a drive through Loudoun County because I was going to a wedding that was there. Yeah. And uh, oh, the houses. Yeah, well, they're not those getting are audited. Some fancy houses. Those are those are tax break houses. Those are because because yeah. here's the thing. What's so frustrating about this debate is that I think we very much share this concern about the disproportionality of these audits happening. But I am also concerned that if we simply defund the IRS, we'll be in a position where all of those very wealthy people simply get off the hook, which is why they have been really foregrounding arguments that say, hey, don't you want to take care of poor people? We don't care about them at any other time. But in this case, we're mm -hmm. going to shackle ourselves to the interest of these poor people because they legitimately have a claim here. What I think we need is a system that really enshrines, codifies the fact that there has to be some kind of limit on how many lower income people are um, audited, especially since the return on the investment of an audit of an affluent person is so much higher. When you audit millionaires and billionaires, the return is something like $6 for every $1 spent on the resources conducting the audit. So why the government wouldn't be prioritizing putting its resources and auditing the very wealthy is completely mind boggling. Yeah, I would like to see them audit everybody a little bit less and just collect what they should collect. But so with Trump, you know, promising to the billionaires that he's not going to do anything with their taxes, I would say that if I were Trump, I would say that to all Americans. I want all of Americans to have less inter as few interactions with the government as possible to keep more of what you earn and to to not ship it overseas or wherever the government's going to send it. Well, I don't agree that rich people should be audited l less. Well, I, not less than anyone else. <laughs> well, no. I don't think they should be audited less at all, especially since the majority of tax fraud uh, happens among wealthy people and there's, they're literally defrauding the rest of the American public. We're paying our taxes um, and they are having to pay, they are, you know, avoiding their responsibility to contribute proportionally to the public resources as compared to regular working people and poor people. They should not be paying less and getting away with avoiding more than average people when they have so many more resources than everybody else. One other point about this new IRS post-funding, the IRS does say it's collected about 360 more million more dollars from rich tax cheats uh, as it did in the past. So there is some return on that investment, it seems. The question is whether or not it can do more and can do more from the very top instead of uh, exploiting the very bottom. Hmm. All right, we'll have more rising right after this.